likely are the weakest next, right here on Spectrum Things Not. Meteorologist Diane Hatchmerick, it is uh, that time of the hour to get you up to date on the tropics. So we will take a look at our Gulf, and that would be Barry, of course. So the tropical update, let's look at this. The latest from Barry. It's been over land since uh, just before midday today and moving slowly. Notice all those forecast points are very close together. As a matter of fact, here we are on Monday, and it's only made it to Arkansas. So flooding rains will be a problem with a slow-moving storm. Winds are down to 65 miles per hour, and it is moving very slowly. So it will be the east side that will still draw in highest rainfall totals, and there's still some storm surge going on there at the coast as well. Computer models here. Pretty good agreement with what's going to happen. North, northwest, then north and into Arkansas by the time we get into Monday, but then notice still slow movement. So rainfall totals are going to be high all the way up into Tennessee and possibility of some high rainfall totals farther to the north and east as well following that mm -hmm. track. So here's what we're looking at. Wind flow for us. Notice here we are Sunday evening and it's still in Louisiana. So that's where that center of circulation is. And notice where you see the winds drawn in. That's where we get all that rainfall being pulled in from the Gulf moisture. And we're watching this. It's a low pressure area. So that gets the showers and storms going. There will be more of that. For us, we're seeing those stronger winds pulling away. Our boating conditions get better, by the way, on Sunday. Rainfall accumulation is still a problem. Look at these high totals, well over that 7-inch range on the highest end of our scale. So there will at least be more 10 to 15-inch rainfall totals from eastern Louisiana all the way through Mississippi where there are flood watches going into Arkansas and then high totals even into West Tennessee. So all of those areas have a risk of flash flooding. And the rivers as a matter of fact too with flooding because the rivers are already high to begin with. Mississippi River's been above flood stage in most spots for the last couple of months. For us, evening storms continue to move northwest and then gone as we head through the overnight and our temperatures will be in those 70s. Boating gets better as our wind speeds come down, 6 to 12 knots. Seas also come down compared to where we are right now. So for the next seven days, next two days, drier air impacts us for looking for a 30% chance for showers and storms afternoon to evening. A little deeper moisture for Tuesday and Wednesday as the coverage increases to 50%. And then back down to about a normal 40% beginning on Thursday. But notice the high temperatures well into the 90s. Here's Kleistron 9.